Today we have with us Dr. Lisa Curcio, a breast surgeon from Mission Viejo, California. Now, Dr. Curcio, you see breast cancer patients every single day. Tell us how big a problem lymphedema is following breast cancer surgery. Most patients who have breast cancer surgery will have some kind of lymph node surgery along with the breast surgery. And the lifetime risk of lymphedema is anywhere between 20 to 30%. And it is a big concern when patients come and we discuss the surgical treatment, what is that going to do in terms of their long-term lifestyle and quality of life? How does the condition present itself in women who are affected? Well, interestingly, initially the symptoms are very, very subtle. Oftentimes, it's completely asymptomatic. There's just some swelling of the arm, and it's really not noticed until they put on a piece of clothing that perhaps feels a little bit tight on that side compared to the other side. How do you inform your patients that they may be at risk for developing lymphedema? I think the most important thing is educating them early, telling them a little bit about the lymphatic system, about what the lymph nodes actually do, and what removal of the lymph nodes could potentially do, either short term or long term. And I think also giving them tools, um, giving them access to a therapist who's certified in lymphedema, giving them access to techniques that they can do called manual lymphatic drainage to allow them to help minimize the lymphedema. And then providing tools that can help to diagnose it at an early stage. All of that kind of being proactive, both from a physician perspective and from a patient perspective, I think is, is the way that they can know about this early on and not be surprised about the long-term effects. What are the challenges of detecting and treating lymphedema today? Well, in the past, it was very hard to diagnose it at an early stage. It was only when the patient came in and on examination, it was very obvious that one arm was bigger than the other. But now we have bioimpedance spectroscopy that allows us to be able to tell if there's more water or fluid in that arm compared to the other arm that has not been operated on and you do that test before surgery as well as after. We like to get a baseline before surgery to make sure that where their numbers are and that they have normal values to start off with. And then we use that as a comparison over time to see if there is uh, a trend towards increasing fluid content in that arm. So with the new bioimpedance technology, there is hope. There is hope, and just like with any other disease, early detection is going to be crucial in long-term preventing a chronic condition like lymphedema. Well, if I were a breast cancer patient, what would you say to me about avoiding lymphedema? I would say that you need to learn about lymphedema. I would say that if you need to have lymph nodes removed, you should meet with the lymphedema specialist and become educated about lymphedema and things that you can do to avoid it and know that you have resources available to treat the lymphedema. But more importantly, there are resources available to detect it at its earliest stages and hopefully prevent it.